Okay, I know it's been like a minute since I've made a video. And I know I'm a little late on Dover and what happened in Dover. But overall, it was a really, really good race. I enjoyed it. It was entertaining. Um, just not with the finish because it ended with like a nearly 10 second lead and that was just like obnoxious. Um, don't give a shit about the winner so I won't talk about him because he's not worth my time just like Bush because um, we're on the same stupid team. Um, but anyway, Hendrick as a whole, I want to say, did an amazing job at Dover. Um, at one point, like, there was like all four running in the top ten. I don't know what time of race that was, but I was like, so happy that all four of them were inside the top ten that day. And then Jimmy Smith kind of fell off, but the rest of them, like, like two finished in the top five. And, and all three finished in the top ten, which was really, really good for for that team, like, organization as a whole. Because it means, like, Chevy is going in the making major gains because Chevy's showing some speed now, I think. Um, but, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, Bowman, who people like write off as this no talent whatsoever, he sucks kind of kid, like kind of racer, people like write him off. Or like, He's not going to mount anything, just replace him, just like they're doing, saying about Byron. Um, two weeks in a row, um, he's led laps, and he's um, finished second. Um, and that's amazing for that team. Like, two weeks in a row to get two top two finishes in a row and lead laps. Like, let me tell you that he qualified really well. But he had to start from the back because of like unapproved adjustments or something like that. Um, he was like one of many drivers who had to drive through the field, but only like two of them made it to like the front two. They finished like right there. Um, he started from the back and had like one of the fastest cars the entire day. He was like bah, weaving and making the top line work better than anyone else I could see. I was like, holy shit, dude. Bowman was like, I get it, Bowman. And um, at one point, I thought he was going to like go and win a stage, but he overdrove a turn and like, kind of screwed it up. But, man, it came like this close. I'm like, oh, come on, dude. He's getting like the momentum at the right time. Like, the first like 11 races, um, well, 10 races that were not good for him. Um, they were, like, really, really bad. He, he can say that. Um, Bowman, he's... Not Bowman, um, Byron, he's a little inconsistent this year, but he's starting to... S starting to get it a little bit. Um, he finished in the top ten, ran really well. I think the, the three of four drivers... Of Hendrick led laps at Dover, and um, Chase had led the most laps again for the second week in a row, 142 laps in that race, and um, and the week prior was like 45, which was the most as at, at anybody in that in either race the last two weeks. So he's led over like 312 laps in the last six races. So it's showing that they have speed and Chevy is going in the right direction. Um, Stuart Haas really concerns me a little bit. Like, for some reason, they're not, they're like, 
they're consistent, but they're not contending for wins, which is really concerning to me. Um, like, they have not won a race this year, which I'm okay with, but it's a little odd that they're, like, that far off. I feel like they're that far off on speed, um, which is weird to say because at this time of year last year, they were, like, killing it. Like, Kevin Harvick was, like, winning, like, three, four in a row, and and all four of their drivers last season won at least one race or two. Um, but I expect a little bit more from Jimmy. Dover because that's like that is like his playground that's his that's his track he dominates that track over anyone else um but he was in the top 10 for a little bit then kind of fell off but I don't there's something just off about the dynamic in that than the 48 team it has nothing to do with like the driver himself it's just a little weird I don't know but I don't want to go on about to me because people have been saying stupid shit about him and saying he's washed up and this and like until you are a seven time champion with eighty three wins, you can't say shit about him. You can't. He has more class and more talent in one finger than people do in their entire body. Like the haters do. So, um but yeah, overall it's over was a good race. High speeds. Um, we all heard about the Kyle Busch drama. Of course, there's the drama. Um, but, like, he was complaining about going fast and this and that. And Chase was like, we're paid to go fast, right? Like, that's our job. <laughs> you know, there's always some risk of going fast and maybe hitting the wall too hard or hitting something too hard, but it's our job to go fast. Like, why are we complaining? <laughs> Bush is so obnoxious, dude. Um, but anyway, um, two solid weekends for Chase. Two solid top five finishes. I never doubted that he would he's like, get this. He's like, um, one of the only drivers who has like the best average finish in the field currently. Um with like a four point four finish um in seven starts. And in those seven starts he only has one finish outside of the top five and that's in twelfth. Oh, I say top ten, but every single start he had He's finished in the top five, except for that one um, finish. I think it was, like, last year. He finished, like, 12th or something like that. But other than that, he's been, like, super consistent at this track. Um, and we're going to another track that he won at last year on my birthday. Um, but we'll see how, like, it all stacks up with, like, this mile and a half. So, with the Chevys and stuff like that. Um, as we know, I a long day. Work was a shit show as usual. Um, the Fords are usually pretty good at this at this track, but I'm not really sure like who's like super dominant at this track. Like, I can say Harvick, but he's not like I don't know. But Harvick hasn't really done much this year to really say he's like in contention for um winning a race just yet or I don't know, but Stuart Haas as a whole I'm a little concerned about because they haven't really shown really much like we're gonna go out and kick some ass and da 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 like they've been kinda lackadaisical. Um, so, yeah, cars are on track tomorrow, we only got the trucks and cup this weekend, so it's only going to be like a two-day show, it seems like, so trucks race tomorrow night, tomorrow, and cup runs on Saturday, 
which I'm gonna miss because I'll be at work um, on Saturday. But, but yeah, and that works um, Mother's Day as well, so I can't really celebrate Mother's Day all that much. God, my face is just like, look at my face, dude. It's like, it never ends. Plus, I haven't been feeling that great. I've been like off and on in days I can eat or I can't because my stomach is just like, I'm recuperating from a food poisoning from the day after I, from the day after I got my truck, like Sunday I felt like shit, I had to come out of work, um, and I never do that, like I hate coming out of work, and um, so Sunday I felt like shit, I got to stay home. And, uh, I was, like, bedridden, I had, I was, like, I could not move. Um, throughout the week, I just had, I just have to drink Gatorade and water, because food right now is very, is not my best friend right now, so, I really have to watch what I eat, um, and stuff like that, so, but I'm enjoying my truck, um, I have to get it car uh, get it washed because it's set outside one night and it rained and I'm like fuck. So other than that, I'm trying to keep it clean inside, uh, keeping trash out of my car, no clutter, nothing. Um, I'm keeping that baby clean. Like you don't understand how clean I'm gonna keep that thing. I'm going to put my Chase Elliott um, license plate cover on the back of it once my um, official license plate comes in. Because I only have my temporary one right now. I got myself insured with my truck. Waiting for my registration to come in. And my brother-in-law is going to buy my other car, my Pontiac. Um, like, I love that car. I had good times with that car, but it's just time to move on and have something like of my own that I can pay for on my own and officially be an adult. Like, <laughs> I don't know, but, um, like I work super hard and I'm just proud to have something to call mine and have something to respond, be responsible for. Besides, like, take care of my cat and stuff like that. This is, like, much a big, huge responsibility. Like, I'm working shitload of hours. Killing my small, killing myself at work. Uh, and, um, yeah, so. I'm just happy that I was able to get my truck and be happy uh, with that. And now just to get better before I have to go or I go to San Diego in a couple of weeks. I'm so excited. I can't wait to go. Um I can't wait to see my friends and catch up. See what my high school buddies have been up up to for the last ten years. Um uh, so I'm just trying to Get myself in shape for that. Stop eating like shit. Cause I've been eating like shit for the last few days. Um, so. Anyways, I'm gonna go wash my face. Um, brush my teeth. Actually, just drink some Gatorade and go to bed. Cause I'm just trying to rehydrate as much as possible. And, um, have the day off tomorrow, all today now. It's Friday, it's payday for me. Um, so, uh, yeah, go get myself ready for bed and plan out my day tomorrow. I go to the gym, take my dog to the park first, then the gym. Um, we go to the bank. I'm just speaking my to do list out to you guys. Um, Put my laundry away from earlier. 
um, clean my bathroom and all that. So, other than that, that's pretty much the gist of what's going on. Whoa, work has been so so. Tonight we like re ran out of bags and it was like the worst thing ever. I'm like of all times we run out of bags. Everything bad happens to me when I walk into those doors. Like something always bad happens. Like either I have no bags or someone calls out or it's just like I'm just I don't even know, dude. Um, but anyway. So wash my face. Let me try to get some sleep. Um, let's get some stuff done. Uh, I'm so tired. But anyway, um, yeah. Two weeks, I'm going to San Diego. So that week I will not be posting a video. Um, I don't know what race is going on that weekend. So I might not be watching it. Um, but anyway. If you know what race is going on that weekend, maybe I think it's Charlotte, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, I think it's the Coke, the Coke 600, yeah. Um, air, air conditioning turned on. Um, so, I'm going to miss that, but it is what it is. I'm going to go enjoy my time in San Diego because... I miss the shit out of my friends, and um, I need to enjoy some time away from the stupid state. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and see what my high school buddies are up to, because it's my 10 year re reunion, I know. People think I'm not that old, but I'm like two and a half years away from being 30, so, it's crazy, I know, I don't look it, but, anyway, um, I'm over on time, so I'm gonna go wash my face, as I said before, and brush my teeth, and go to bed, have a good night, and enjoy the race this weekend, because I won't be able to watch it, <laughs> so,